Are we seeing some top-notch goal scoring or what in this game? The high level of play. No one can do what he is doing right now. Man from Anchorage, Alaska. We've talked about traditional sports, esports a couple times on the show so far, and it seems like the NHL is stepping up with its first signing of a pro player. So who better to talk about it than the player himself? Let's welcome John Wayne to the show. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, thanks for coming on, man. This is this is really awesome. It's a really cool story. Like, we see the sports, uh, esports really stepping up right now. So just tell me about being signed by Caps Gaming. Like, how did, how did that happen? Yeah, a lot went into the process. Uh, we had a long, lengthy interview process, and we just found out that... Uh, we were a perfect match for each other, and I was the right ambassador to lead Caps Gaming going forward. Um, as far as me, I'm super excited. It's a dream come true to be signed by an NHL organization, be the first NHL esports player. Um, family's excited. Girlfriend's excited. Um, just the support that I've had from them in the community has been overwhelming. Well, how, well, how about you? Like, how excited were you? Like, were you, like has it hit yet, or are you still kind of like processing this whole thing? It just hit yesterday. You know, it's been a crazy week. Uh, finally having time to reflect and, and, and sit on the couch by myself uh, with my puppy. Uh, it's yeah. been a lot, but it, it's been super exciting. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's got to be like this is this is really huge uh, just for sports and esports in general. But I want to learn I want to learn about you a little bit. Like just to, uh, give me some history. Like when did you just start playing the Chell games? Yeah, so I started in NHL 94 when I was a kid. Uh, Mom got it. She's called the babysitter. You know, she put me in front of it for hours. And, yeah. and I've always just loved video games, uh, all types, mostly sports, though, for the most okay. part. So you didn't you didn't play any other games that were like competitive in nature too? you know, any like first person shooters. It was it was just strictly this. And that's kind of what kicked off your competitiveness. Yeah, that's funny. I am probably the worst first person shooter player. You. I, I don't know, man. You and, me, you and me will have to have a competition for that. <laughs> Yeah, it is not my niche, not at all. That's, that's, that's awesome. But it's, it's cool that you had that, that competitive drive. Did you always have that, or did it kind of like click after a few years of playing it? You know, I always have. Um, I, I played sports growing up. I played hockey, baseball. Um, hmm. And I've always had that drive. Uh, uh, video games is a, is a nice way to release that as well. You know, I think that's why I got into it so much, is it was another way to take over, you know, the competitive drive. And I think that's what fuels me. I, I love winning. Um, and if I don't win, I, I try to learn from it and be the best player I can. Yeah, that's, that's what guarantees success. So I want to d just dive into the actual like league and structure itself. So for anybody out there that's watching, just starting to get into sports, esports, especially NHL, what's the structure of the league and, and what kind of leagues are available out there right now for the game? So there's actually not a league right now. Uh, okay. They created the Gaming World Championship two years ago in 2018. Um, and that is just a it's it's a big tournament that the NHL puts on uh, the okay. grand prize. Uh, it's a hundred thousand dollar prize pool. Um, so formats have been kind of different. Um, NHL is really new to the esports scene, so they're trying yeah. to learn. Um, also, this year Caps Gaming, um, along with uh, getting me, they uh, they got the Caps Gaming Showcase coming into play, which is a uh, it's actually a six v six tournament. Which uh, that's where it's a lot like two K, where one player controls each guy on the ice. So that's something new. Um, the community's wanted it for a long time. And to see it coming about is, is pretty crazy. Um, and and uh, it's going to actually be the first 6v6 land tournament in North America in a long, long time. So so just just off of that, before we move on, I'm, I'm kind of curious, you know, if, if, you know, I'm just to dive into NHL right now, what's kind of like the place I should start? You know, like, do I jump on like Reddit? Is there a forum somewhere? Like, how do you get into the scene right now? 100%. Uh, well, if you want to enter that Caps Gaming Showcase, uh, they have a Discord. Uh, if you follow Caps Gaming on Twitter, um, that's a good place to get information. Uh, that's that for that 6v6. I mean, mm -hmm. don't let not having a team leave you out. There's a lot of good players that don't have a team right now. Yeah. So you can kind of form a team that way. Um, as far as the NHL GWC, which is the big tournament um, that, that I, I've competed in the last two years, uh, that's through HUT. So that's Hockey Ultimate Team. It's kind of where you make your own team, um, you know, like FIFA, MUT. But, um, so, yeah, so... That would be a good st stepping stone is to start on is to start on hockey ultimate okay. team and start building your squad to get to where you want to be at the end of the year. So this, this is a, just a broader question in the space of uh, esports in general. Uh, you know, there's some question of where traditional sports esports are going to fit into the esports ecosystem. What place do you see that having? Is it more of like a, a complement to the bigger leagues like NFL, NHL, um, and, and MLS and stuff like that? Or, or does it have its own kind of category and market, do you think? I think it's got its own category and market, um, but also I think that it will fall in place under the leagues. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's cr just crazy to see how much it's grown in the last years. Like I've been in the community for a long time, and uh, and you know when NHL uh, in the 2018 when the GWC was released, it was it was shocking news because there was never any tournaments really for NHL. I mean you grinded leaderboards just for the love of the game and the, mm -hmm. and that comp competition factor. So when that got released, I mean the community hit it with storm. Um, 
And and just to see how quickly they jumped into it and how well they have done since jumping into it. I mean, I think the sky's the limit. I think with all sports games, I think that the that this is just the beginning and growing and the yeah. grow, and, and growing. So so what just on the community? What would you say to people that that aren't in the scene then about the community? I mean, like we have so many different types of communities. Uh, you know, some are wholesome. Some like the gear scene are very like in your face aggressive. What's the what's the Chell community like? Very close knit, and it always hasn't okay. been that way, which is funny. You know, really? since this the, since this leagues came about in the tournaments, you really get to know people on a personal level. I mean, I can honestly say some of my best friends have came from that community, and I really do mean that. You know, awesome. um, I flew flew a couple buddies up from to Alaska um, this past couple year. I mean, I go to see them all the time. I, I work for Alaska Airlines, so I fly around, and having friends all over the United States now is really really cool. No, that I, honestly, I'm going to agree with you. Esports e in general is, is just really cool for for land that and having a community that's so close. I think that's going to guarantee a lot of success uh, for the league and 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 for Chell Esports. But um, I'm just looking at it and looking to the future, just in your eyes as a as a player. What would you like to see in you know NHL esports scene to allow that growth? You know, does it just come down to you know having the support staff like coaches and stuff, or is it really more on the leagues and stuff? What do you want to see in the future of of this? You know, I would love to see a league. Um, I think that you know, with this Caps Gaming Showcase that's coming up, it's going to be really interesting to see how it how it how it performs, how it does. I mean, it's a good uh, uh, way to measure, you know, going forward if it if the, this game should be played six v six or if it should go back to one v one. Yeah. But either way, I mean, I think a league would be would be would be fantastic, and I I see that it moving that way. So I did. I did actually want to touch on that um, because it's it's kind of a, like a hot topic. You know, is it one player con controls everything, but then you have a bit of the RNG from the AI, or do you, in your eyes, do you think it's better to have all six <sighs> players on the uh, ice controlled by six different individuals? Selfishly, I'm a one v one player. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a, that, that's that's my best game mode. But but at the same time, I really do enjoy the team aspect. I mean, there's nothing better than celebrating with your friends, your teammates. You know, after a big goal, I think that that's very exciting. And I think that it does take out the RNG, like you said. Uh, so I think that's better for a competitive standpoint. So uh, just looking at, like at other esports and stuff, do you follow any other uh, right now, or is it you just kind of like focused in on on the the NHL scene? That's funny. I, I, I'm always on Twitch. I'm a, I'm a Twitch rat. So uh, yeah. I, I, I even watched the COD tournament, the 2v2 yesterday, highly entertaining, the Code Red tournament. Um, but mostly I, I, I watch Madden, FIFA. I'll turn it all on. You know, I, I love watching competitions. So any big tournament that's on Twitch, I, I tune in. So is, is there anything from those scenes that you'd like to, to see kind of transferred over, like that, that one eSport does really well that you think would fit right into what your community is all about? I think if it goes one v one, I think Madden does a really good job with their their mm. their majors and and FIFA as well. Um, if it goes six v six, I mean, following what two K's done wouldn't be a bad option. Um, and just learning if there's anything that they've done wrong, just learning from it. But but all in all, I mean, I think they do a fantastic job. So. Uh. So looking at the game itself and just like the the state of you know the the pros and how good people are, do you think it's you know near its peak or do you think there's a long way to go? That you know people still discovering new tactics and stuff. Uh, so it's funny. Last year, uh, EA tuned the game a lot. It okay. felt like we played like ten different games, kind of, just because of all the tuning. This year, they've really they put out the game and they've really, really not tweaked it a lot, which which has been it's been better, you know, because you can learn. I felt like last year you're learning, you learn something and then it changes, and it was just yeah. really frustrating from a pro level. But uh, this year, they they've done a fantastic job of just leaving the game how it is, uh, even though it's not perfect. Um, it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to play at a, a high level. So if, if, if someone were to watch, someone that already watches, you know, hockey in, in the NHL, and they were to dive in and watch this, is the gameplay a lot the same as if you're watching, you know, the, the actual sport? Or is there like a specific meta that's come out for you guys to play? And does that meta shift if it's 1v1 or 6v6? The meta definitely definitely changes from 1v1 to 6v6, just because uh, 1v1's a, it's an AI goalie, yeah. you know, and 6v6 it's a human. So, you know, in 6v6 you try to put a lot, lot a lot more pucks on net um, compared to 1v1. You really want to pick your pick your shots because it's all about possession in 1v1 more so than than uh, mm -hmm. than anything. You know, you don't want to let that guy have the puck because um, if he doesn't have the puck, he can't score. But uh, yeah. so yeah, so I, the game modes are definitely different. <laughs> So, so like, well, if if I were to watch, like, is there is there a big difference between watching the actual sport and the NHL thing? Like, what are the key differences? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For, forgot to go into that. Um, yeah, no, uh, it, it's it's different. You know, NHL is more arcadey, of course. Um, you know, you're gonna see, and it's not so much dump and chase. So, so the game's completely different than the the real NHL kind of. But I mean, it's got the same aspects, of yeah. course. I mean, they they try to go with realism, but it it just isn't 
completely like the real NHL. It's it's always going to be a bit different. But anyways, that's uh-huh. that's been a great insight, man. Thank you so much for joining, John Wayne. Best of luck in the future, and I, I hope to have you on again, man. Hey, thanks so much for having me, and I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Awesome. I appreciate it.